Okay, so in this tutorial, I want to look at downloading and installing Apache Tomcat version 7. So to begin with, fire up your favourite browser and head over to this address, tomcat.apache.org and you'll come up with the Apache Tomcat homepage. And then on the left hand side, there are a bunch of options. Go to downloads and today we're going to download and install Tomcat 7.0. So select that. That takes us to the Tomcat 7 download page and the current version is 7.0.53 and we've got a bunch of options here. We can choose which download we want. It depends on the type of machine you've got. I'm using a 64-bit Windows machine so I'm going to be downloading this one but if you're running on Linux you'll be going for the tar so just click on one of these and go ahead and download. Now that's going to take a while so I'm going to freeze the video here. Okay once your download is finished just one other thing to check and that's that you have a Java runtime available. I'm going to be using the JRE 7 and we need to set that up once we've installed Tomcat as the JRE runtime. Okay so if you don't have a JRE installed on your machine you have a couple of options. First of all head over to the Oracle website it's www.oracle.com Tech Network Java Java SE Downloads Index.html Followed by a question mark SS Source Site ID equals OTNJP As you can see at time of recording the Java 8 is available but I think with Tomcat 7 we're better off actually using the Java 7 runtime. So if we just scroll down a little bit to Java SE 7. Now the options are we've got a JDK which is the Java development kit and then a JRE which is a Java runtime. Now for Tomcat to work we only need the Java runtime. We don't need the whole Java development kit. So if we click on download for the JRE, we come up with the Java SE Runtime Environment 7 downloads. First of all we need to accept the license agreement. And then we can scroll down and look at the various options for the different operating systems. Now I'm running on a Windows 64-bit machine, so I'm going to download the Windows X64 executable and run and install that on my local machine. But if you're using Linux or a Mac or the Solaris machine, you choose the appropriate download for yourself. I'm going to cut the video because it's going to take a while to download. Now once it's downloaded and you've run the install process, you'll notice that a folder has been created, JRE7, under a Java directory within your program files. Now bear in mind this is only for a Windows machine, so on Linux or a Macintosh it'll be a little bit different. But under the JRE 7 folder, you'll find the installation for the Java runtime, and that's what we need to point to with Apache Tomcat. Now I've copied across the Apache Tomcat installation zip file into the following directory. It's on my C drive under Program Files, and I have a separate folder for all Apache software, and it's Apache Software Foundation. And I've got Maven installed there, and now I'm going to install Tomcat in the same directory. So just copy that across and then right click and extract here. By the way I'm using a zip utility called WinRAR. You can also use WinZip. Both are available on the internet. They extract that here and you can see it's created a new folder for Apache Tomcat followed by the version number. So I'll keep that as it is. Drill in there. Now one thing we have to set is an environment variable called Catalina Home which points to this directory. So select on this bar here and then copy the path. Head over to the Run menu and type in environment. I like to add my environment variables as user variables. 
so they're specific to my particular user profile but equally as well you can add it as a system variable by the way click on you and enter Catalina home and paste in the path we just copied check everything is okay okay that's set okay that now we need to look at setting the JRE home directory for Tomcat so head into the bin directory and we need to create a new file here so right click new text document and uh, set end dot bat yes to that and then right click and edit what we need to set up here is the JRE home directory for Tomcat to use so we type in set and then we need to wrap this in quotes, double quotes and that's JRE home and that equals percent program files so that's where we've got it this is the command variable for that backslash java and then a version of the JRE which we're going to use 7 and then we need to do exit forward slash b 0 so we're setting the JRE home variable equal to the program files path java and the JRE 7 save that exit there okay so let's see if that will work so let's open a command window start menu cmd and then because we're running from the program files and that has a space in it we need to wrap everything in a double quote so double quote and then percent sign catalina home close percent sign backslash bin backslash startup dot bat and this should start Tomcat now the other thing we can check is to see that this instance of Tomcat is actually running on the right port which is 8080 and to do that we go in the browser open a new tab local host 8080 And there we have it, Apache Tomcat version 7.53. Now how do we shut down Tomcat? Well we've got an instance running here. You can just kill that, but a more elegant way and a safe way to shut the resources properly is to call up the command window and run the similar command to last time and instead of setup we're doing shut down. And this will gracefully take down Tomcat. And then we have it shut. And now we've refreshed the uh, browser window again. Tomcat's no longer running. So in this tutorial, we looked at downloading and installing Tomcat, setting up some environment variables for it to run correctly. And we started an instance and we shut down the instance.